we don't have to exercise a certain way just because someone tells us, just because there is a social standard of what you're supposed to do, just because someone says that cardio is better than weightlifting or weightlifting is better than cardio. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. About three months ago, I came across a statement that less is better, and I was trying to apply this principle into my everyday life, into working on a relationship with myself, and especially exercising and movement. Usually when we force ourselves to do something that we are ready for, or that our mind and body wants, we lose interest. And it doesn't matter what it is, it can be something good, but at the end of the day, when we make ourselves do something excessively, we lose any interest, any desire whatsoever. And several months ago, I noticed that I started feeling overwhelmed when I was pushing myself to a limit. In that particular situation, for me, it was exercising. I was constantly pushing myself to go to the gym. I sat um, a schedule for myself to go to the gym three times a week at least uh, and do an hour and a half workout excluding the warm-up and I started disliking exercising in general because in my mind exercising was associated with the gym and again when I went to the gym three times a week I was dissatisfied because I felt like I should have gone four times a week but when I didn't go three times a week when I went last I felt like I failed myself I felt unproductive and unsuccessful and I felt very very annoyed and frustrated with myself I stopped liking the gym and I stopped liking exercising but I felt guilty to quit because everyone says that it is good to go to the gym everyone is doing workouts everyone is weightlifting and it's just believed that it is the best thing that you should do on the regular basis. You have to go to the gym. This is social standard. I can honestly say that I'm not sure that I would be able to break this cycle on my own if the gyms were still operating, but I'm very, very happy that the my gym was closed and I wasn't being able to go and exercise and weightlift. At first, I felt super guilty that I couldn't go to the gym and I couldn't exercise as much as I used to exercise before, even though I didn't like it at all. But I decided to take it as a chance. I decided to go with the idea that this is my break, this is the time where I can rediscover what I really like again. I started researching other types of movement, and other types of exercising that I can implement on a day-to-day -day basis in my everyday life and something that I will genuinely enjoy. I decided to start with the very, from the very, very beginning. I decided to do something that was completely opposite to what I was doing before, because before it was more like heavy weights and high-intensity workouts, and I started exploring other types of movements that were very mild and very low impact. I started with yoga. I started doing yoga almost every day, about 30 minutes per day. When I first started, it was challenging. I didn't know where it's all going. Now it has been three plus months since I quit the gym and started doing yoga. And now I can't imagine my life without yoga. I usually do yoga four to five times a week. And this is a half an hour session and I do it at home and I just can't imagine my life without it. It makes me so peaceful, it makes me recharge. I said at first I was doing it in the morning, but then I switched to the evening sessions and I find it so relaxing and so nice and this is something I will definitely keep doing. Another form of exercising I found was walking. Um, I was never a big fan of walking or any cardio exercising, uh, but I had a company, I was walking with my boyfriend and we have a beautiful park, 10 minute walk from us and during the lockdown we were walking every single day and being able to spend time in nature, it's not only good exercising, it's also a very good relaxation. Another thing I started doing was hiking. Every single weekend we go on some sort of hike, as you can see by my vlogs, I do it every single weekend. 
Uh, usually we do easy hikes, but sometimes we do like to do moderate hikes just for like an extra exercise and for extra challenge. We explore different hikes around Vancouver and in nearby cities and so far this is something that I really love doing. And the last form of exercising I do is follow along workouts only with your body weight. I was so disliking exercising that it was hard for me to start doing anything other than hiking, walking or yoga. But then I tried follow along workouts. I started with 15 to 20 minute workouts and now I do half hour workouts every morning from Monday to Friday and I really enjoy it. I don't have any weights at home I and I'm not intending to buy any. Uh, the only thing I have is um, elastic band, but I don't even use it that often. Like maybe I used it like three times during the three months. And I should say that the combination of all of this um, exercising methods for me worked so great. I have never felt as motivated, as inspired, as strong and energized as when I was going three times a week to the gym. And I want to say that we don't have to exercise a certain way just because someone tells us, just because there is a social standard of what you're supposed to do, just because someone says that cardio is better than weightlifting or weightlifting is better than cardio. For me, what worked is like I stepped back and I completely stopped everything I was doing before and I switched 180 and I tried something so drastically different and I, I'm so 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 grateful for this opportunity to be honest. Just because I don't feel anxiety anymore, I don't feel guilty, I do whatever feels good to me. If today I want to do a follow along workout, I'll do it. If I don't feel like it, I won't do it. If I, if I want to go for a walk, I'll do it like one day I do 7000 steps per day, another day I do 700. Um, yeah, and that's wonderful, that's what my body needs. On weekends I usually don't exercise other than hiking or walking. I don't do yoga, I don't do follow along workouts. This works wonderful for my mental health as well because our health is way more than physical movement. Our health is also connected to how our mind feels and we should never forget about this. So again, this turned out to be a perfect balance for me. I don't feel attached to any weights. I don't feel attached to certain exercises. I don't feel attached to the gym. I don't feel guilty if I do something or if I don't do something. Of course, I wasn't feeling like this right from the start. I felt anxious, I felt rigid. I didn't feel satisfied, but when time goes, uh, and when you have these negative feelings, you just have to go through them, to push through them. They will be going away with time. Keep doing what you're doing and try to distract yourself from these negative thoughts. Try to not act on them and they will definitely go away. After exercising like this for, for almost four months now, actually, I came to a conclusion that whatever makes you feel good is healthy for you. Exercising in the gym didn't make me feel good. Maybe I was feeling good physically, but I was far from feeling good mentally. Now I feel wonderful physically and I feel great mentally and I am very very happy with the amount of movement that I have in my life. We don't have to move 24-7. Our body is supposed to rest too. Uh, people say you have to do 10,000 steps per day, people say that you should lift weights, people say that you should do cardio at least an hour, people say that you should run, but listen to you should always listen to yourself. Whatever makes you feel good, you should do it. And if you start changing your workout routine or your movement routine, give it a time. At first, when you start changing it, you will feel guilty, you will feel anxious or rigid. Just push through this, these feelings will go away. And what will stay with you is satisfaction and happiness with what you are doing. Allowing myself to move how my body and mind wanted actually uh, not only added up to my relationship with myself, made my relationship with myself healthier, it also made the relationship with other people better too. I gained so much more mental space, so much time to spend with my loved ones. And just because I made myself overdo something, even if it was something good, I was working against it. 
If we can take a step back, quiet the outside noise and allow ourselves to listen to our inner self, that is when we can get productive in our own way and enjoy the life at the same time. So yeah, this is my experience with exercising and I am not planning to go back to the gym anytime soon. I am so enjoying all of my movement routine, how I have it right now. If you do struggle with the gym routine as I was struggling before, uh, maybe you can also take a step back and reevaluate what you actually genuinely love to do. And I hope that you will find something that suits you, that suits your lifestyle and that makes you happy. If you like this video, consider subscribing. It will definitely help to support my channel. And that being said, I hope you guys have a positive day, a positive week and a positive life. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!